show it's in a different place today it's in the old kitchen Bobby Buzzard's kitchen going to be doing some cooking for you today it is show number 15 one five I was a little mixed up yesterday I thought <laughs> I thought it was 13 and it really was 14 so I, I did the whole show thinking it was 13 <laughs> then I tried to delete I tried to delete it it wouldn't go away so it's there for eternity, eternity, eternity. It's there forever. <laughs> it's there forever. Anywho. <laughs> Show number 15, one, five. 15, one, five. Remember we talked yesterday about a person with 10 fingers and a person with five fingers. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, one, five. One person and five fingers. <laughs> yeah. That works well for me. Works well for me. Anywho, we're going to do some cooking. I'm excited because I'm pretty good to cook in the old kitchen. I do all the, ki all the cooking for uh, all the people on the ranch. And uh, I do things like au jus and fricassee, <laughs> puree, of course, cuisine, polenta, al dente, au gratin. <laughs> all those fancy things, consomme, flambe, Hemingway. Do all the cooking things, but I'm going to do something that's really complicated today, and I hope you can follow along because I move quickly. I'm going to do an egg. Oh, yeah, an egg. I got the instructions right here. Pretty complicated. Got the, you always need a, you always really need a, a recipe when you're doing cooking. It's always safe to follow a recipe, and I got one right here. It says, number one, step number one, get egg. Step number two, cook it. Step number three, you're done. Whew, that's a complicated recipe. I'm going to put it right up here so that, uh, so that I don't forget it, you know, because it's very complicated. It's going to put it right up, right up. Anywho, <laughs> let's get the egg. Let me head over to the fridge. I'm going to get an egg out of the fridge. Let me just head over there. There it is. <laughs> okay, let me reach inside and get an egg here. Oh, this fridge is so neat and orderly and very well organized fridge. Oh, let me see. I got myself an egg right here. <laughs> Whoop. The letter F. <laughs> uh, well, it makes sense because it's a, it's a fridge. Letter F for fridge. <laughs> let me just head over to the head over. I'm going to get an egg. Let me grab an egg for you. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> we'll grab an egg. Oh, it's right in here somewhere. Okay, let me just grab this egg right out of the fridge. Okay, there it is. Phew. <laughs> That's not an egg. It's a snowman. <laughs> well, it's a good thing he's in the fridge because it's almost summertime and it's a perfect place for a snowman in the fridge. Let me just head back to the fridge and I'm going to pick up an egg. Here we go. Let me head over there. Where's my egg? Oh, let me pick. Got an egg right here. Got myself a brand new, spanking new egg. Whoa, oh. <laughs> these are, what are these? Oh. This is Bobby Buzzard's underwear. <laughs> I've, been, I've been looking for these. <laughs> Kids, oh, that's dangerous. Do not put your underwear in the fridge. Safety first. Let me just head over to the fridge, get myself an egg. Okay. Actually, oh, here was. Finally, I finally have an egg. Oh, good thing. It's got the letter E on it. Convenient. Just so I know it's an egg. It's got an E. Egg. Uh, 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 egg. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't know. <laughs> okay. Let me head over to the stove. We're going to crack the egg. We're going to fire up the old uh, griddle here. Oh, yeah. We're going to cook the egg. Oh, it's going to be good. Let me crack it on the old cup. First, you crack it and you put it right in. That's a crack. And that's right in there. Okay, that's good. You grab the old, uh, whatever you call it, the, uh, the uh, what is this called? Uh, a whisk, I knew what it was. A whisk, I knew what it was. Anyway, whatever it is. Then you give it a little shuffle around. Let's have a little. Just whipping it up. 
Very nice, very nice. Let me give it a few more. Um, eggs don't take very long. That's the beauty of them. Beautiful food. Very healthy, too. Yeah. Wait a minute. I have an idea. We read Green Eggs and Ham the other day. Oh, my. What a good story that was. What if I made them green? I'm going to try it. <laughs> Here's some green. I'm going to make them green. It's going to be so good. They taste better green. Put another drop of green in there. Let's mix it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, they look so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. They are green. We're going to turn the heat down. Ouch. Ouch. Hot, hot, hot. Good. Okay. Here we go. Here's the green eggs. Okay. Let's have a quick look. Get in nice and close there. Have a good look. Have a good look. Hey, why don't you have a look at the story? <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> I really like it, and I'm going to eat my eggs, and I'll see you back in the kitchen in about five minutes. It's a great story. Enjoy it. All these eggs. Oh, they smell delicious. <laughs> see you in a couple minutes. Two Speckled Eggs, written and illustrated by Jennifer K. Mann. Oh, what a great sounding story. Two Speckled Eggs. Oh, my gosh. Ginger's birthday party was in two weeks, and she wanted to invite all the girls in her class, except Lila Browning. Lila Browning was weird. She smelled like old leaves, and she, well, she didn't talk much, and she even brought a tarantula in a pickle jar for show and tell. Ooh. It's a curly hair tarantula. Black. I hate spiders. I heard it's the most poisonous spider in the world. That's disgusting. Gross. But Ginger's mom said that uh, she had to invite all the girls in her class or none of them. Hmm. Got to invite them all. Since none of them wouldn't be a very fun birthday party, Ginger invited all of them, even Lila Browning. When the doorbell rang on the day of the party, Ginger ran to answer it. It was Lila Browning, and she was very early. Finally, the doorbell rang again, and then again, and again, and again. You're finally here, she said. Happy birthday, Ginger. That's a pretty dress. I like your headband. The girls piled their presents on the table, then ran off to play party games. But Ava changed all the rules to blind man's bluff. <laughs> I do too get to peek. And Caroline dropped the egg for the egg and spoon race before it even started. <laughs> Oops. Then Maya and Jack stuck all the tails for pin the tail on the donkey on each other. Not on my nose, but it'll be cute. <laughs> You're wrecking all the games, yelled Ginger but the girls had already started the three-legged race. Finally, it was time for silver and gold cake, Ginger's favorite, but Maggie didn't like coconut and Sarah wouldn't eat the pineapple part. The rest of the girls just picked at the frosting, but didn't touch the cake. They were so picky, except Lila Browning. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe none of them would have been a better party after all, Ginger thought as the girls ran off giggling. Hm. She scrunched up her eyes, but the tears fell out anyway. Oh. Just then, something landed on Ginger's nose. A ladybug. Ginger crossed her eyes to look at it. Layla Browning laughed, <laughs> and, and so, so did Ginger. At last, it was time for presents. Ginger opened them one by one. It's a pumpkin patch doll. 
I have one too. Open mind, open mind. I can't see, I can't see. Lila Browning's was the last present. Ginger opened the flaps of the brown box and pulled out what looked like a tiny bird's nest. Lila had made it herself, she said, out of paper, tinsel, ribbon, and string, and in the center were two speckled eggs. They're chocolate malted milk, Lila whispered. Oh, oh, gasped Ginger. I love malted milk eggs. Well, me too, said Lila. Later, when everyone else was gone, Ginger gave Lila one of her eggs. Then Ginger and Lila pretended they were birds and pecked at the rest of the birthday cake until Lila had to go home. That sounds like fun. No one else carried a magnifying glass in their pocket or made bird's nests for birthday presents. Nobody. And no one else knew that silver and gold cake and two speckled eggs could make a birthday party perfect, except Lila Browning and Ginger. The end. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi. Welcome back. I'm just trying to find a, trying to find a four for Trying to find a fork so I can eat my eggs. I still haven't eaten them. <laughs> okay, hang on. Well, there's one. <laughs> Let's have a scoop of these eggs. Mm. Oh my. My, oh my. Beautiful food tastes delicious. Oh my gosh, that is good. They're even better if they're green. They are so, that they even tasted green. So good, so good. Anywho, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my cooking show. I do all kinds of cooking here at the Bobby Buzzer Branch. And uh, that's it. Let's do our song. One, two, you know what to do. Oh, you can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. But you can be happy if you just think about it. All you gotta do is put your mind to it. Knuckle down, buckle down, do it, do it, do it. Oh, you can't go swimming in a watermelon patch. You can't go swimming in a watermelon patch. You can't go swimming in a watermelon patch. But you can be happy if you just think about it. All you gotta do is put your mind to it. Knuckle down, buckle down, do it, do it, do it. All you got to do is put your mind to it. Knuckle down, buckle down, do it, do it, do it. All you gotta do is put your mind to it. Yeah. <laughs> Knuckle down, buckle down. Do it, do it, do it. That's all you gotta do to be happy is just think about it and try your best to be happy, kids. Oh yeah, it's a great day to be happy, and uh, I can promise you that. I can promise you that. It's a great day to be happy, and we'll see you tomorrow, show number 16 tomorrow. What a great show that was. <laughs> I gotta finish up my eggs. They are so good. Oh my gosh. I hope you can make some green eggs. That was a good show. That was a good show. I like that one. I like, I love cooking. Cooking is so much fun. Oh yeah, what a great, great, great show. Great show. <laughs>